This is the CX-10 controller. I'll show you how, just real quick, to turn it into this here with extended sticks. It's actually quite easy. Um, first of all, what you're going to want to do is just pull these off. The uh, thumb pads, they're actually quite easy to pull off. And then uh, keep those just in case you want to use them. And then you end up with this. As you can see here, you're going to need a little bit of room for this, the, ne the uh, taller stick to pass over here, especially when it's wider. As you can see here, I'm able to move all the way around just high enough to clear the entire uh, ball joint right through here of the, of the controller. And all I did is I took a 3 8 inch dowel. This is actually from a paint stick, an old paint stick that I had. I cut it to size as far as length for what I needed for the controller. And then I drilled a hole in the end of it that would fit just over this and I made it just deep enough I marked it and measured it so it was just deep enough so I can't press it too far in and not clear the edges there and that's pretty much it same thing on this side just enough that uh, you can have better control so now you can use it as a um, as pinching or a little more leverage for the thumbs because these springs on these uh, these sticks are are pretty stiff so this allows you to be able to move the thumbs a little bit and they do cross over a little bit in the middle but I haven't really found an issue with that and that would just depend on the length that you do it but I really like to um, hold it up like this and that allows this antenna mod also that I've done and I'll have a video on that to stand up straight and have a little more a little better RF radiation pattern uh, by standing it up like that instead of ha if you do stand it up and you can always tilt it up if you're if you're like this so but I'll have a later video on that so anyways that's how to extend your sticks put longer sticks on there to make it easier to control